Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4. Playing on Iron Man and going for achievements, of course. The only really achievement I'm looking to get is called Basilius. And the last province we need is Cyprus. He has no allies. He's no longer guaranteed by the Mamluks. And we're fabricating on him right now. So he is next on the to-do list. Last episode, we pieced out with Venice, took him as a vassal, finished our mission for that as well. We forced him to the Orthodox faith, and uh, we're going to be feeding him his cores and probably some more land as well. Uh, he only has four cores to feed. But you can see there's a couple more cultures that we could give him as well. A couple provinces that are his culture. And I may wind up giving him a lot of Northern Italy, just because Northern Italy is very expensive to core. And with my influence idea group, it's actually cheaper for me to annex my vassals than it is to core the land myself. So we're probably just going to be feeding Venice a lot of this land up here rather than annexing it ourselves and coring it. On the other hand, I'll be coring a lot of North Africa, which has increased coring costs as well. And we're going to be coring Iberia too. So one thing at a time. We're finishing some heavies, which is great. Gotta love heavies. Uh, where should I put you guys? I guess I'll put you with the main fleet, which should be... Let's put him in Rome. The main fleet in Rome. And we have to decide what our next goal is going to be after Cyprus. I'm not really sure. We'll have to think about it. We lost the effects of Western arms trade. Oh, we'll get it back. It just means we had a temporarily lapse in relations with France, but we'll get it back. We're down to 141. Yeah, we can get that back, but 150 is the threshold for Western arms trade. Shit. Shit. Diffalopi, thanks for resubscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Diffalopi. Conversion done. Very nice. How's the religion look down here? Pretty good. It's pretty orthodox. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. Jerusalem has been converted. Cairo has been converted. The only place we can't really convert down here is Mecca. For that, we're going to need uh, a, what's it called? A cathedral. But to do the cathedral, we need Admin Tech, is it 19? Yeah, Admin Tech 19 for plus three missionary strength. So that's going to come down the road. We're certainly not ready for that just yet. What I'm hoping for now is for some of these nations to leave the coalition, because it's just too many. There's just too many nations in the coalition right now. Still no good options for rivals, unfortunately. All right, let's dock up the fleet and mothball. Well. Oh my god, Cyprus has a three-star general. <laughs> He's got a 5-5 five, five general. Paris Doria. Ugh, gross. I'll take the galleys and this army, and we'll go invade Cyprus. 5-5 five, five general, huh? It's pretty disgusting. No cannons, though. All right, there we go. Oh, Cyprus. It's time for you to die, my friend. You had a good run. Sort of. Come on, get off the fucking boat. Really? 9th of October? Oh my god. And, well, we could tech up again. I guess I will. 
get another idea group going. Let's grab... Do I want 15 morale or do I want siege ability? I think I want the morale. There we go. Yeah, you're 5-5 five, five general. He fights well, but he's still dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. What's this? Oh! Tolerance of heretics goes up, or missionary strength goes up. Give me the missionary strength. No, I don't want the tolerance. Fuck tolerance. We're not tolerant people here. God, we have five missionaries. That's so nuts. That is so nuts. Oh, wait, how many troops do I need here? I need nine troops here. Gross. I'll have to send some troops back. There you go. Okay. And Diplomat is free. Give me another claim on Castile. Why not? We have lots of claims all over the place. Just everywhere. And I can't really act on them because we don't have any fucking admin points. <sighs> Bohemia has been re-elected emperor. Congratulations. He should offer us that marriage again. Yeah, people are still voting for him, but they may stop voting for him after this war. In fact, it's pretty likely they'll stop voting for him because he's going to be a lot weaker after this war. So in three years, we can start annexing Syria. That'll be good for us. Get him off the map. He's been a good vassal for us, but it's time for him to go. So now we have 15% more morale of armies. That's huge. Leader maneuver, not bad. Land maintenance, that's nice. Fort maintenance, decent, I guess. Reinforced speed is very nice. Land attrition is very nice. And attrition for enemies doesn't, doesn't really matter. AI doesn't really take attrition the same way you do. Oh, the Commonwealth has no heir. Really? He's going to get my dynasty when he dies. I like it. Yeah, get my dynasty. Get my dynasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good times. I will gladly take the Commonwealth's dynasty, or have them take my dynasty. Either way. Either way. Wall breach. Very good. Now, I think we'll be holding on to the war until we get this next idea passed. So December, essentially. And then we'll peace out, and we'll take a little bit less aggressive expansion than we otherwise would have. Hmm. Riazan still wants that alliance. I guess because they know I hate Hungary. I can't rival Hungary, but they know I hate Hungary. So they understand. Lost a claim on Genoa, that's probably okay. We'll come back for it. Pisa, allied to Brandenburg, yeah, we can do that. Except he's in the damn coalition, isn't he? <laughs> of course he is. Of course I'm in the coalition. Oh, 
I'll keep 500 ducats just in case we need 500 ducats for anything. Hmm. How are we doing on authority? We're at 30%. All right, I'll go for a little more authority here while we're trying to convert all these lands. It's pretty hard to convert some of this shit. Like Rome. Rome is very difficult to convert. Aww. Commonwealth had a baby. Damn it. Jerk. Who said you could have sex? All right, are we done? December, here we go. All right, state propaganda, very nice. This gives us 20% less aggressive expansion for the rest of the game. It's a big, big deal. Did we get that marriage back, yes or no? We did not. All right, I'll have to offer it to him. Give me a diplomat. Hooray, my Cyprus. Get rid of that fort. 264 points to core. Wow, that's not cheap. Might even convert it first. But Cyprus is ours. Is that the achievement? Where's the achievement? Well, maybe I have to court first. It has to be a core. Gotcha. I love how you can check that in the game now. Just there's an achievements button. Isn't that neat? Pretty incredibly useful. Okay, so let's start annexing Syria here. Oh, we don't have enough relations? Okay, get relations then. How much development do we have? I have no idea. Let's check. 1691. Alright, so has anyone left the coalition? Doesn't look like it. No one's left the coalition. Okay, so our options are still Tafalalt or the Mamluks, and that's pretty much it. Unless I want to turn on Persia, which I think would be a bad idea. Sort of a bad idea. I could go back to demanding provinces. Let's see if we can demand, like, I don't know, Almeria or Caceres. Just something relatively cheap. JN. You want to give me some land, you little bastard? I can convert Roma! Zero. Look at that. It take <laughs> The missionary will have a monthly progress of 0.0%. Let's get it started. 0.0%. Wow. Oh, he'll even give me Toledo. Holy shit. Yeah, thank you. All right, Castile's out of the coalition. Wow, he just gave me Toledo. Nice. <laughs> Wow, you just gave me Suse. Damn, they're really giving me a lot of land now. That threaten war thing is so broken.
Oh my god, he'll give me Florence? Oh my god, he just gave me Florence. And I'm over my overextension limit. Wow, he gave me Florence. I didn't expect him to give it to me. <laughs> Holy shit, he gave me Florence. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I don't even know what to do anymore. It's like the shop owner's not there. Your stuff in your pocket's full of candy. Uh, I'm going to release a vassal. There we go. I don't want to core that. All right, cool. So that pushes some nations out of the coalition. That pushed Castile, Tunis, and Mantua out of the coalition. Yeah, they have a core on. They have cores down here that we could feed them. That's true. But I would have to declare on the coalition for that, and I kind of don't want to declare on the coalition, you know? Rome is converting very, very slowly. We're at 0.3% progress. <laughs> Not per month, that's total. Um, it might be time to go for another religious advisor. Oh, I can't. Why not? We need 40 influence. All right, well, December of next year, we can do it. All right, December of next year, I can ask for another inquisitor. That's what we'll do. God, I can't believe he just gave us Florence. Like, he's pissing his pants so much that he gave us Florence. Oh, by the way, Florence, you should be my religion, dude. Just saying. What's this? Autonomy. Whoa, that's a lot of rebels. I think I'll fight the rebels. All right, let's annex Syria. And I'll find out where these rebels are. Okay, um, Calabria, Albania, Crete, Berga, Crete, really? Okay, Anatolia, Syracuse. Okay. Transports. Yeah, that's a big event. Like, it's a lot of rebels to spawn. Anywhere interesting? Calabria, Albania, Crete, Burgos. I think the only interesting place is Crete, because it's a fucking island. In fact, why don't we just spawn them? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, their locations are perfect. It's like, no big deal.
Yeah, easy peasy. And they're all spread out. And they're all small stacks. Oh, the Commonwealth even took one out for me. Thank you, Commonwealth. You're the best. Hey, Cypress converted. Nice. Alright, so what month can I do that? Is it December? Yeah, December of this year I can recruit a level 3 Inquisitor, which I desperately need. Wow, um, yeah, he's taking out all my rebels. Look at that shit. Aw, you're the best, Commonwealth. Thank you so much. If you didn't have cooties, I'd give you a hug. But you do. You do have cooties. Lose stability or gain inflation. Oh, fuck. Man, do I love these events. Lose stability or gain inflation. Guess we're taking the inflation. All right, so Syria will start annexing when? December. Okay, just a few months. So my diplomat's doing nothing for a while. That's fine. Oh, Florence is immediately converting his land to Orthodox. Perfect. Good job, Florence. And the Commonwealth has declared on Muscovy, who's allied to pretty much no one except Riazan. Well, I will join your war, my friend. Let's see. Do you have any land that you want here? You want nothing from Riazan. Alright, tell you what. I'm gonna fabricate on... No, well... I think I'll take Ostracon. Yeah, that's what I want. So give me... Wait, no, I, if I join... Oh, I'm already next to my vassal. We're fine. Uh, yeah, come back from here. I just want to start the fabrication of Ostracon, and let's see if we can get that from this war. Now, if this is anything like the French war on Aragon, he's going to give me nothing. So I might as well just try for one province and nothing else. Wait, Riazan didn't join? Riazan didn't join! Oh my goodness. Wow, Riazan didn't join. Okay. Why didn't Riazan join? I don't know, but that's awesome. Yeah, I'll turn this fort on. Good idea. Don't know why Riazan didn't join. <laughs> I tell you what, though, that means Riazan is my next target because he's not allied to anyone important. In fact, he's not allied to anyone at all. And he's not coalitioning me. So, yeah, Riazan, you're next. You're next. He's like, what I do? what I do? I didn't do nothing. You can't prove it. I didn't do nothing. Poor Riazan. Ten years of diplomatic relations. How much is that? Ten times twelve is 120 monarch points. That is way better than 50 monarch points. Alright, let's go ahead and get our dude. 35. I need support from clergy, right? 
10 influence. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Missionary strength plus two. You know what that means? That means we are going to convert Rome, baby. We're at 1%, but now it's going at 2% per month. Oh, so good. So good. Oh my god, Riazan, why wouldn't you join that war? Oh, Muscovy's getting wrecked. Where's Muscovy's armies? All I saw was that little 20k that just got crushed. Where the fuck is Muscovy's armies? There's another 20k. Oh my god, they just got stack wiped. Muscovy is getting stack wiped in this war. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's getting chased down. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong. He is spamming units, so he may be able to do something here, but doesn't look promising for Muscovy. Got a wall breach in Saratov. Portugal joined France in a war against Muscovy. What? Oh my god, Muscovy just finished his westernization. Okay, he is terrifying now. Why is Portugal at war with Muscovy? Oh, because Muscovy's allied to Flanders? Yep, Muscovy's allied to Flanders. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's only a two tech difference, but this two tech is apparently enough for the Commonwealth. Well, granted, the Commonwealth has a six shock general, but apparently that two tech is a big enough difference for just stack wipe after stack wipe after stack wipe. Look at that. Look at that morale. He's just wiped. Every battle is a stack wipe. Holy shit. That is scary as fuck. I'm glad you're my ally, Commonwealth. Are we out of time? All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we'll try to feed our happy little vassals some wonderful Italian clay. And at the same time, we're converting Rome. We're up to... 21% already. Nom nom nom. We're also annexing our vassal Syria, so pretty soon we will have completed our mission, Restore the Pentarchy. And the reward for that is 20 prestige. Yay! 20 prestige. All right. I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.